My niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas. Hey. It's the play. Yo, what it is, though? It's the neighborhood zone, baby. Bringing it to you back live and alive like Hostel de la Bush and Jews. And I'm bringing to you the very first, the original. This is like the first episode of Black Interviews guest starring. Go ahead, shut yourself out. Alondra Castillo. Yeah, you for the see the app right there. The editor will put that in. AKA. <laughs> A good hardworking man. We finna get these interview questions started. Question. I'ma bring back uh a fan favorite. Uh what is one message that you would say to your ex? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna come over here. These are fan favorites. You gotta answer. I gotta answer? Yes, you gotta answer. If you don't answer, if you don't answer any of these questions, the interview is over. So one thing I would say to my ex. Nothing. What do you mean nothing? I don't. I don't. You wouldn't say nothing to you. You wouldn't say nothing to him. She just don't want to really like, say what she wants. <laughs> Next question. Uh, what is the dumbest thing you've ever done in school? The dumbest thing I've ever done in school? Yes. Matter of fact, because it's for you. So, you all name the top three dumbest things you've done for you too. <laughs> um, my, my best friend at the time, he's, he's gay. Well, not gay, but he's bi. But he would bring uh, alcohol all the time and a Gatorade bottle or a fucking water bottle. And then the people would think it was. Drink and get drunk before crack. Vodka? I don't know what it was. It was drunk shit. Yeah, vodka. It's a little like water is vodka. Yeah. Yeah. I had some what? great goose in my room disguised as Sprite for so long. No, I'm the one that disguised it to make it look like Sprite. I put it in a Sprite bottle. You is out of it. I put it in a Sprite bottle, bitch. I was getting lit. Next question for the people. A brand new question. A question I didn't thought about. You ready for this question? Uh, yeah, I'm about to stop rapping now. This question that's coming up, uh, I wanted to ask this females this, but it was kind of weird. But I'm about to ask it right now. It wasn't weird, it's just I couldn't ask niggas on my story, but let's get to the question. Alright. You got the weekend. I know you love the weekend. You got okay, let's say let's say Drake. You wanna drink too? Just go. Okay. And we got Kodak Black. <laughs> No, nah, we can't do for that black. We let's do the current Kevin Gates. All right, out of these three light skins, I got two corn dogs. What? Oh yeah, out of these three light skins, who would you marry, smash, and kill? I'll marry the weekend. You marry the weekend, yeah, because you love the weekend. But Drake sing. Drake fine though. Yo. Okay, hold on. Laundra, the, Drake sing. Drake rap. with a beard that he went still to got the gym. Ass. This man looks fine. I'm not oh. talking about the Grazi Drake. Wait, what was the choices? <laughs> oh. No, it was A was on um, the weekend. That's his name. Abel. Oh, you know they're. Whoa. Oh. It's Abel, Drake, and Kevin Gates. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo. Anyways. Okay, so my answer. Yes, this is contestant A. My answer is. I'm Mary Abel. The weekend. The weekend. Yep. Yes, the weekend. Yep. I'm Mary Abel. Oh fuck Kevin Gates, cause I know who laid that pipe. Bro. But you you're gonna kill Drake? Why are you killing Drake? Why can't I kill Drake? Oh, fuck. Are, are you not marrying him? Hands down, I'm marrying Drake. It's my choice. I want to marry gonna, Abel. Why? But why are you gonna marry him over Drake? Yeah, Drake looks like he got that sling on him. Wait, 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 w
Now I go back to I ain't gonna girl. say nothing on that. But I'm just saying. Why would you marry Drake? Or why would you not marry Drake? I couldn't kill Drake. You know how many bops he gave us? Do you not remember yeah. Marvin's room? Yeah, I cannot. Do you not remember all these bops? Oh yeah, I would like to go back and ask y'all the first question because y'all weren't here for the first question. But that question is, if your ex just walked up in here and said, we gotta talk, breathe, heaven, or whoever your ex just was, smacking their chest like this. I'll be like, you can't do it? Cause you can't. Cause I don't know who you gonna talk to like that. <laughs> That's what you got your front door, just like this. I'll be like, uh, you can bounce. No, cause I don't know you from nothing. Like that. I'm like, don't be telling you, pull up. Like, why you looking stupid? Cause not <laughs> that we're on good terms. We're on good terms. Like, I talked to him. I'm good terms, but I'm like, but you ain't finna put it in my house like that. Especially when my... we from the hood. We don't do that. Brothers come out. You can't come at you all like, ah, 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 ah. And then Rude was. And then you just said, hey, we gotta talk right now. Well, I didn't get on bad terms with any of my exes, so if they came at me that way, yeah. But if you gonna come at me raw, you gonna get slapped silly. Oof. How can it snap? Talk. Yeah. Yeah, it was just talk. Yeah. You ain't getting back. No, <laughs> then, yeah. but I mean, I'm trying to say that. Though? Huh? I what mean, what are you just trying to get back? Ooh, she didn't get back. <laughs> Not me. I mean, thank you. There, y'all go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. They didn't get your name. Free. All right. And then go ahead, put your out if you want to. Your, I said your out. Your at is going to be right there by her name, by her head. Tell me what you want for Black Friday. Oh, Black Friday. Oh, that is smooth. You love your hoodies? Uh, what kind of hoodie? I'll get you something from you. Like pink? Yeah. There's a pink in the mall, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a pink hoodie. Respect. Shit, I'm a, I'm a man of my word. And then she's gonna post it. She got you. I got you. She's gonna post it. I hope y'all know if you don't give it to me, I'm I'm ready all right. to hear all your guys' answers to this question, please. What? I bet. This is, the, this is the last and final question, but this question is for everybody. Everybody. The whole world. Answer it. Females. Niggas, too. Go ahead and answer this question because it is for everybody, everybody. and that shit got to be hilarious. We got to keep this shit going. But anyways, tonight's question is, what is the most whole shit you have ever done? What is the most ho shit you've ever done? And don't fucking cap! Yes. Don't cap or lie! Because I swear to God, I will expose And to all start you. off this question, this we're gonna answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so just to start this question off. Action. Go ahead. <laughs> so just to start this question off, we're gonna answer that question too because, you know, I don't give a fuck. Um. Wait, hold on. Which is the most juiciest? Let's do that one. Well, hers is I already exposed myself. You already exposed I already, I basically yeah, just said I did, I did that she fucked two guys, guys in one night. Yeah. Alright, bet. Me, now. I fucked a pair of best friends. Woo! Woo! Oh. You fucking... You fucking... I didn't, I didn't tell you this yet. Yeah, you better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's crazy. Damn. Damn. A pair of best friends. And they do I know them? Well, I can't even say that because they're not really exposed to it. Yep. Do I know them? Yeah. Let's call them Mario and Luigi. Oh my god, that was really close to what it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm exposed. But anyways, it's time for all y'all to answer. Check in the morning, got you texting. Ha ha ha. Yo, I'll be a great actor. These are a lot of bloopers. And I'm doing really well. Anyways, uh... Oh yeah, I would like to say goodbye to everybody who tuned in to watch Black Interviews, where we had our two special guests, one, Alondra, and two, Brady. Yes, that'll be the end of it. It's YouTube. Oh, uh, it's Black Side Production. Niggas all jeans and we throwing up our rakes and my niggas throw up trades. Yeah, you know they still straight and she all up on our dick cause she know we bout our cake. If a nigga run up wrong, then his ass get erased.